This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, aware where the righteous cut off. All right. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Much respect to the tabernacle of David and the brothers out there that's preaching this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you brothers out there that's listening and learning. All right. So as it says in Job 4 and 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. All right. So as you see on the screen, this woman right here. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh took her off the planet. She's in the spirit world. All right. So if you don't follow those law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, you are liable or you will be taken off this planet. All right. Ultimately by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh orchestrating it. All right. So as you see here, you know, you look at her. She looks like a pretty woman. <clears throat> So like you, you look at her, she looks like a pretty woman, you know, brothers be like, man, she, she look good. But as you see here, you know, you look at the energy that she's putting out. All right. No shirt on. Looks like she ain't got a shirt on right here, man. You know, your body's pretty much showing, you know, brother be like, oh man, he, she got a fat ass. Why are you going to talk to talk about her like that, man? All right, look, man, you simps out there, y'all ain't going to make it either. All right. We out here trying to raise up our nations, trying to seal the elect. All right. It doesn't matter. And this is another woman also that also perished. All right. As you see here, you're looking at the energy that they putting out. All right. No clothes on. All right. I'm going to get to that video in a second. And this brother also. All right. A former... Former uh, NFL player. I'm going to read this real quick. Um, former Notre Dame fighting Irish Oakland Raider running back George Atkinson III has passed away at age 27. All right. So he pretty much died from found dead with depression. All right. That also shows you that this money, this lifestyle that you get, those riches, all right, it amounts to nothing. But back to these women right here, you know, you look at them like, yeah, I agree. She's pretty. But it doesn't matter because if you ain't following the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, it doesn't matter. He's no respected person. Anybody's liable to get this judgment. All right. Anybody's liable. So you you out here smoking. All right. Let's get that in the scriptures real quick. <laughs> You out here smoking, you going to be destroyed. You out here with no clothes on, you going to be destroyed. All right, showing off your body like that, you going to be destroyed for that. Uh, First Corinthians, where that at? That's like here. Yeah. First Corinthians 3.16. All right. And know ye not that ye are the temple of God. And the spirit of God dwell living in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which the temple ye are. All right. So that woman is out here smoking. I don't care if you vaping or not, man. You still smoking. Because you're supposed to abstain from, from all forms of evil. All right. You out here smoking. So like yeah. you, how about Shimmy outside is gonna it's gonna take you off this planet, man. All right. So this is First Timothy two and nine. In like manner, also the women adore themselves in modest apparel with shame face, sobriety, not with braided hair or gold apparels, <gasps> costly array, pretty much showing off. All right, pretty much just showing off. All right. Because you're supposed to be shamefaced. You're not supposed to be out here trying to get another man's uh, attention. That's pretty much what's what's happening when you're out there uh, dressing up like that. All right. 
when you dressing up like that, half naked, you know, especially showing it off on the internet, you know, and then wondering why you got all these uh, uh dudes in your inbox. And at the end of the day, y'all about shooting me outside, I just, just took it off the planet, man. All right. He just took it off the planet. Let's con continue reading uh, uh, Job 4 and 7. I'm going to read it again. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So you righteous in this thing, you trying to follow, you rehearsing the righteous acts, trying to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to the best of your ability. All right. And you have faith. All right. And you have faith. Because without faith, you can't please Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All right. So you got to have faith. You're not going to be cut off. All right. You're going to be risen up and caught up in them chariots. All right. Even have I've seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness, all right, as you see in the women, you know, barely wearing any clothes on, all right, smoking, all right, you plowing that iniquity and keep on uh, uh, piling up iniquity upon iniquity, all right, reap the same, all right, you're going to be destroyed. By the bless of God, they perish. All right, so Yahweh Hashem Yahshua orchestrated their death. However they died, however they perished, even the football player, however he died, however he perished, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua sent them death angels on them. And by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Man, that's why you don't play with Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. All right, you got to thank him for waking you up and choosing you. To understand his ways, to understand his Bible, all right? And with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're going to pretty much walk like we on eggshells in our everyday lives, watching out what we say, watching out what we do, all right? So we can be accounted as the hopeful elect, all right? It's Isaiah 45 and 7. I'll form the light and create darkness. <clears throat> I make peace. And create evil. I, Yahweh, will do all these things. So once again, showing you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he orchestrates everything, man. <laughs> all right, you go to the Christian church. They'll be like, man, God is all love. And that's how you know when you come into this truth that the Christian church ain't got the truth. All right. So this is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and make alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it off. All right. So once again, he orchestrated these women's death. All right. This brother's death and these women's death. All right. So he bring it up. Hopefully, Lord willing, we of the elect. And he brings us up into them chariots and we'll be caught up. Let's get some more scripture. Let's get Proverbs. <clears throat> 11 and 1. All right, this is Proverbs 11 1. A false balance is abomination unto Yahweh without power, but a just weight is his delight. All right, you're going to be the supreme being. How are you just going to be all love? All right, with Yahweh Bashim Yahsa. All right, he loves a just weight, so he controls everything. All right, he got to have adversaries, he got to have enemies, and he got to have the righteous. All right, this is the battle that we in. All right. This is the battle that we are in. All right. Verse two, when pride cometh, then comes shame. But with lowly is wisdom. All right. I was looking at these women's pages, man. They had them. They pride them on them as well. But before I came into this truth as well, I thought I knew the Bible. All right. I really thought I knew the Bible. But then I heard these brothers preaching this word, teaching <laughs> Teaching on the streets, and then I realized, like, man, I don't know this Bible. So I had to humble myself. That's why it says, with lowly is wisdom. All right. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness and the transgressors shall destroy them. 
All right. Your transgressions, you plowing iniquity upon iniquity, you're going to be destroyed. All right. Verse four. Riches. All right. For the football player, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. All right. No matter how much money you get in this side of the world. All right. They ain't going to profit you. If you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments, if you hop out, me outside. All right? Because if you ain't following the law, statutes, and commandments, if you hop out, me outside, you're going to be destroyed. And that's why it says righteousness delivereth from death. All right? You may be put in a bad situation, but you hop out, me outside somehow, some way. If you have faith, all right? If you have faith, he'll get you out of that. He's going to deliver you from death. Verse 5, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. All right? So how you be perfect? You be perfect by following these laws, statutes, commandments. All right? Teaching this word, making these videos. All right? Watching what you say, watching what you do. All right? And, and the elders, man. The elders are set up by Yahweh Shai for you to follow them. All right? But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. All right. The women, their brother, all right, they fell by their own wickedness. All right. Man, this whole this whole chapter is pretty much fire, anyways, but all right. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Man. So that's pretty much it on that, man. <laughs> man, these, these scriptures are fire, man. That's why I thank y'all by seeing y'all side for waking me up to this truth. And anybody that's listening and learning, all right, even if you've been in here for a while, all right, always thank y'all by seeing y'all side for waking you up to this truth, all right, because you could have been dead, all right? We were them dry bones. But he's raising up his army. He's raising up his people. All right. Let's get that in Amos. Let's see where I want to start at. Um, Silakia. Yeah, verse 8. This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. What is this sinful kingdom? This is Babylon the Great. And it's also us, the Israelites, all right? The two-thirds that's out here that's doing whatever they want to do. And I was destroyed from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. All right? Say if Yahweh. So Yahweh Hashem Yahshai ain't going to utterly destroy us. He's going to leave that remnant. And man, you know, if he does this, if he does this for the people that he loves, just imagine for the nations that he doesn't care about, man. Imagine how much death and destruction and, and calamities that they're going to taste, man. And this is Yahweh Hashem Yahshai extracting, I mean, uh, uh, pretty much doing all these uh, uh wonderful works of destruction upon his house of Jacob that he loves, man. He's out here destroying his own people that he loves. All right. But if you're righteous, man, you, you won't have to taste that death. You want to taste the second death, which is that fire, that brimstone. All right. That's why we're making these videos, man. Follow the ways of your outside and not follow the ways of your oppressor, man. <laughs> All right. Well, let me get that. I believe there's Proverbs 3 and 31. Let me see. I believe. Yep, Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. All right, so when you envy the oppressor, all right, the oppressor tells you to go out here, you know, pretty much be a fast woman, not adorn yourself with a, a modest apparel. All right. You you're gonna be destroyed for that, man. You're gonna be destroyed. 
Because all women are princesses. And they're supposed to look like princesses. All right? You're not out here supposed to be looking like hoes and jumping from man to man. All right? We we a royal nation. All right? We ain't supposed to be choosing the ways of the oppressor. All right? You choose the way of the oppressor, you're going to be destroyed. All right? Back to Amos. Nah. <clears throat> Amos 99, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. So since we are scattered abroad from across the whole earth, all right, through our sinful ways, not keeping the our, our bargain, our side of the contract with Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, that's why he, he scattered us among all the nations, all right? Like as corn is sifted and served, ye shall not yet not, shall not the least of the grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, all the sins of my people shall die by the sword. All right, what's that sword, man? That's that nuclear missile, all right, when that hits, all right? And that's also Esau, Edom, you know, do Jacob's trouble. Him knowing that the devil has a uh, has a uh, short time to rule this word, earth, he's going to be coming after Jacob. All right, who was Jacob? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And Seminole Indians as well. <laughs> Their descents. All right. They came over here by slave ships. And also um, when they came over here when no mankind dwelt. All right, you can find that in uh, 2nd Ezra 13. I believe uh 39. All right. That's when the 10 tribes came over here to, to Arcturus, which is America, to live here. All right. All right, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day, I will rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. And close up the breaches thereof. So he's raising up his tabernacle of David. All right. David, 144,000 and the elect. All right. We being risen up. And Lord willing, we of the elect. All right. And, and we get out of here. All right. And, and rule in our kingdom. So yeah, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is raising up his people. That's why you see the prophets out there preaching his word. That's why we're doing this work. That's why we're making these videos to persuade, you know, for our people to come into the marriage. All right. Bid them to the marriage. All right. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as the days of old. So what was the tabernacle of David in the days of old? He had his foot among the heathens. All right. He had his foot among the heathens. All right. They was beaten. To and fro, man. All right. That mighty army, starting with David, you know, all right, taking down the heathens. All right. That they may possess the remnant of Edom, Edom and all the heathen, which are called by my name, save Yahweh, that does, that doth this. All right. So pretty much any of our people that doesn't want any slaves, man. Technically, they got to be taken off this planet, man. Because if you in this, you in this truth, man, you understand that you're going to have slaves. All right. You understand that you're going to be ruling. You're going to be the judges of the earth. All right. You're going to have that spiritual power. And any nigga in this world, they don't really want that, man. They want ha they want to have a hug from, from the white man. All right. They want to have a hug and apology. From the white man and for the white man to pretty much, you know, babysit them. They don't want to be rulers. All right. They don't want to be kings. So they got to be taken out. All right. Behold, the day is come, saying, Yahweh, the plowman shall overtake the reaper and tread the grapes. Him that soweth seed and the mountains shall drop sweet wine and the hills shall melt. All right. The hills melting. That's a nuclear missile. All right. And who's the plowman? All right. We are the plowman right now. We tend into the we built this 
built this nation up pretty much by the backs of by the backs of the Israelites. You know, we built built up this nation all right, for free. And so we're going to take the reaper and then we going to be the reaper. All right. All you other nations are going to be the plowman. In that day that Yahweh Yahshim sets up his kingdom in his order. All right. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste of the cities, inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. And they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of their own. All right. So, so you other nations, starting with Esau, Edom. All right. Y'all going to build up our cities. All right. Y'all going to take care of us, man. Y'all going to be our, our butlers, our slaves, man. It's going to be beautiful. Verse 15, and I will plant them upon the land and they shall no more be, be pulled out of their land, which I have given them, say, if you have that power. All right. So that's beautiful, man. So the tabernacle of David is being built up and we understand that we're going to walk on eggshells in this earth, in this life that we do. All right. We're going to watch what we say. Going to watch what we do and we're going to watch out what we put out. All right. And we're going to make sure that our calling and election is sure so we can get the heck up out of here. And we're going to have faith, all right? And we're going to understand that, you know, if you don't have faith and you out here doing whatever you're doing, you're going to be taken off this planet, all right? Get this last scripture and I'm going to close out. Let me see. I want Ecclesiastes 12. Let me see. All right, so this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, so keep his commandments. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All right, when you have fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, you understand that he can take you out any time, any day. All right, so that's why we're praying. All right, that's why we're fasting and, and hoping that we are the hopeful elect and he has his mercy upon his upon his people. All right, so we can come up in them chariots. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. All right, so that brother and those two women, all right, they got judged, all right? He brought their judgment, and he judged them, and he took them off the planet, all right? Lord willing, he takes us off, he takes us off the planet in a good way, in them chariots, and get them spiritual bodies. Well, also, I'm going to get a couple more scriptures to lock in. So, so this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to earth, all right? So the bodies... Even though their bodies are going to be decay, decayed. As it was, the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. All right. So now they're in the spirit world with Yahweh Hashem All right. And then they're going to come back as Israelites in their right minds. All right. Ruling. All right. Their brother's going to be ruling. And, and those uh, two sisters, if they're Israelites. All right. They're going to be born in the kingdom. And then they're going to be married to, to one of the elect. All right. Or, or you know, even to a, a Israelite that is born upon, a, a born from the elect. Uh, however, you know, however, Yahweh Yahshua decides to, you know, make it come upon. But at least, you know. At least they don't have to go through Jacob's trouble. All right. Let me get that uh, Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah 30. And 7. All right. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved up out of it. All right. So there's a there's a terrible, horrible, great times that's coming. All right. 
That's Jacob's trouble. And, you know, I guess the plus side of perishing, you know, early, <laughs> if you say that, is you is that you don't have to go through Jacob's trouble. But, you know, the elect is going to be tried as gold, all right, in that day. They're going to be tried as gold. And they're going to be made gold, all right, in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Let me get that too. Um, I think I want to get Revelations first. Revelation 12. What's that? At? All right, so this is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, yea, that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, who's the devil? Esau, Edom. It's come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right? He's going to be coming after all you Israelites. All right? Even his own people is going to perish because of this. <clears throat> That's why this devil got to be taken out of power, man. I'm going to jump down to um, verse 17. And the dragon was rough with the woman. Who's the woman that's Israel? All right. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony, testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh of Mashiach Yahweh Shah. All right. See, who he really wants is the man of the Lord. All right. You got this truth in you. All right. He wants to elect. He want the he wants the elect to be off the streets, man. All right, he wants to destroy us off this planet. But y'all by Shimmy outside ain't gonna have that, man. Like he said in Amos, he ain't gonna utterly destroy the house of Israel. All right, he's gonna leave that remnant. And that remnant is the elect. All right, and Lord willing, they're gonna get that spiritual power, like the scriptures say. And they're gonna take on this devil. And defeat. All right, the devil's gonna be defeated. <clears throat> so let's get Zechariah. Was that up? Thirteen. All right. Let me see. What was it, Zechariah? Thirteen and eight. All right. And it shall come to pass that in the land of the Lord. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. All right. The two parts, that's the two thirds. They're going to be cut off. All right. They're going to die by, by any means. All right. By the sword, Esau, Edom, nuclear missile. All right. That's how they're going to die. But the third part, which is, which is the elect. All right. They're going to be tried as fire. All right, try through the fire. All right. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will find them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. All right, that's a Jacob's trouble. All right, through faith, through crawling on the Lord, you will be redeemed. You will, you will make it up out of this. All right. They shall call on my name. All right, yeah, how about me outside? And I will hear them. All right. So you have faith, you're gonna call on his name. And I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. All right. So man, all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Shah, man. I'm gonna thank him early. All right, Lord willing, if I'm still here and um, you know, going through Jacob's trouble, I'm 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 thanking him now. All right, Lord willing, if he, uh, you know, has that blessing and mercy and, and election upon my household, you know, I'm, I'm going to thank him early. <laughs> thank him now. All right. So hopefully this was an edifying lesson. You know, I want to give all glory, honor and praises to Yahweh Shemiah Shah. 
much respect to you brothers out there that's preaching his word in truth and sincerity, done the honors to the apostles and elders. Until next time, Lord willing, shalom.